Let's look at SAP UI5 and its surrounding technologies. Hi, I'm Ian Thane. Welcome to our SAP Code Talk. I'm really pleased to have two of my colleagues with me, DJ Adams and Marius Obert, both developer evangelists at Developer Relations at SAP. Guys, thank you for joining me. Thanks for having us. Hello. And this is a bit of a first for me because I've got two people on the Hangout. In the past, I've always interviewed people separately and edited them in, but this is a groundbreaking technology for, for me. And talking about groundbreaking technology, we're talking about SAP UI5. So I'm going to address the questions to both of you, and you guys can just get in, uh, chime okay. in, answer as, as you feel fit. And I'm going to say, first of all, come on, what's SAP UI5 and what does it let us, our developers do? So that's a, that's a huge question. So I would say SAP UI5 is an enterprise ready UI development framework for web apps, so nice looking web apps. And you might wonder what does enterprise ready mean? So when I say enterprise, when we say enterprise ready, we mean that it already comes with features like internationalization, localization baked in. It has a support for data driven UIs. It has a comprehensive suite that allows you to do performance analysis, testing. So like end to end testing as well as unit testing. And obviously it uh, leverages the model view controller approach for development and everything is already baked in. Yeah, I, I mean, the framework, it comes complete with a huge collection of controls, UI elements, um, and other building blocks, such as model mechanisms for interacting with different data sources. Uh, I think last time we looked, there's, there's over 500 controls. So th these UI elements are many, you know, varied from simple switches and buttons to table views and Gantt charts, graphical displays for analytics and everything in between. Um, it also takes care of the rendering of the HTML elements, HTML elements um, in a responsive way as well. Okay, so how is UI5 and SAP Fiori related or are they totally different? That's a good question, Ian. That's a classic question, um, but it's definitely worth you know, having another look at that. So um, especially as we you know, very recently uh, just released uh, Fiori 3.0, few days ago. Um, Fury is many things, you know, it's a set of UX, user experience, design principles, it's a design language, it's a suite of apps that look and work in a consistent fashion. Some even have said, and I think I'll admit to saying this myself, that Fury is also a state of mind. Yes, and Fury is also really, like in most cases, actually implemented with OpenUI 5. So basically, the UI 5 controls, they follow the Fury guidelines themselves. So one way you could think about this is that uh, Fiori is the UX part, uh, the user experience concept, and SAP UI 5 is the actual development, the user interface development part. Yeah. Okay, so you mentioned something there, Marius uh, and DJ, about Open UI 5. So what's the dif difference between SAP UI 5 and Open UI 5? So Open UI 5 is a subset of SAP UI 5, and it's open source, so that means uh, that SAP UI 5 has some additional parts like the charting, what DJ already mentioned, the Gantt charts, and some plotting libraries. But uh, Open UI 5 is open source, so anyone could use it. You don't need a license. You can just like use it for your spare time projects or anything that comes to your mind. It's also worth pointing out that both SAP UI 5 and Open UI 5, you know, while they're different in terms of licensing. And SAP UI5 has a few extra bits and pieces. They're both de developed on a single code line. They both share the same code base. Um, they're so closely related, really, that you know a lot of folks, including me, often refer to them uh, just as UI5. Okay. Um, now, one quick. Well, so I don't want to take the, the conversation off on a bit of a tangent, but uh, Open UI5. Just obviously, to me, it's it's an open source version of the UI5. Is it one of these um, one of these projects where people can actually contribute? And if so, does do those contributions somehow go back to SAP R five, or they just stay in Open UI five? Uh, they 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 will work themselves back because they share the same code line. So the contribution mechanism and approach um, that is uh, extant via the fact that Open UI five is on GitHub, mm -hmm. you know, that makes all that possible. 
Okay. Okay. Right. So let's get back to the the main uh, uh, train of thought, which is SAP UI five. What apps can be built with them? I know you, you've probably mentioned a few already just in the conversation so far. Well, what apps can you build with UI five? I think that's maybe the uh, easier question to answer. I mean, you know, many folks see and use UI five as you know the workhorse for their everyday sort of responsive enterprise application requirements. SAP does too, right? So UI five powers um, the SAP Fury revolution. Um, you know that started in the business suite way back when, and you know even now continues to do so with with uh, S four Hana, for example. So just as SAP developers produce apps with UI five, so you know so can us, so can we, you know so can you. Um, but that's not where it stops, though, right? So you can build apps using the UI controls delivered with the framework, the ones that are built in. Um, but you can also create your own controls and customize their style and generally create any, anything you want. So, DJ, do you remember a couple of years back someone implemented Pac-Man with UI5? I do indeed. In fact, we showed it at OSCON, uh, O'Reilly's Open Source Convention, in 2014. Uh, it was amazing. We had uh, Pac-Man playing on the, on the big screen, and then we looked behind the scenes with the Chrome developer tools, and lo and behold, it was uh, a UI5 application. And it was, you know, a genuine Pac-Man uh, screen. And there are also other UI5 applications. For example, on GitHub, you can find a really crazy game. It's called the Flash Game. So just go oh, to yeah. GitHub, go Google, uh, Google for search for a Flash Game. And obviously, there are more SAP uh, non-enterprise applications. For example, SAP Business One that's also built with UI5. Mm -hmm. So you do surprise me because I would have said straight away before your answer that you know games wouldn't be there. I'm, I've never been a games developer. I've always been an enterprise developer. So that would have been the first one I'd have gone for. So bravo there. OK, I'm new to SAP UI5. What's my main takeaway? So I would say it's really a key framework for UI development that you should know. And it has so many rich controls. And even for unexperienced UI developers, you can really build easily applications because you don't have to know CSS, you don't have to know how, how HTML works. You can really just learn the framework and write your own applications. And it can be simple applications, but they can be as complex as you need it to be. I like to, to think of a quote by Alan Kay, right? Um, simple things should be simple and complex things should be possible. And that sort of reminds me of, uh, of UI5, really. Uh, a little bit corny, but there you go. I like my quotes. Um, I think I think it's probably worth looking, you know, worth looking also, you know, as a takeaway, um, especially if you want to get started, have a look at um, a tutorial. There's, there's a new beginner UI5 tutorial on developers.sab.com in the tutorials area. Um, it's called Develop Your First SAP UI5 Web App on Cloud Foundry. Uh, so check that out. Um, we'll put some links in the comments to the to the YouTube recording. Um, there's also very timely. There's also a a new UI5 course on Open SAP. It's the second UI5 course. Uh, it's called Evolve Web Apps with UI5 with SAP UI5. It sort of is a follow on to the original course, uh, which was. Well, was it a couple of years ago now? I can't mm -hmm. remember. The original course was called Developing Web Apps with SAP UI5. It's also available on Open uh, SAP as a self-paced course. So yeah, check those those two things out. OK, so on the opposite side of the page, I grow my beard. I'm a seasoned developer. What about a seasoned developer? What do they take away? So beyond, you know, I guess, beyond what we've already described, you know, UI5 supports a ton of, you know, um, Features such as you know routing and navigation, you know that that means you can you know can build complex apps that are still really easy for the user to navigate and move around in. And you can also, for example, build apps that support what I'm going to call deep linking, right? So you can you can send your colleague a link directly to a particular sales order, for example, or whatever it is, right? Um, There's it, it, all sorts of possibilities. There's you know, there's, there's built-in support for modularization of code, of course. That helps with, you know, more involved developments. And, you know, that makes for better code management in, in the general software lifecycle context. So what's new right now with SAP UI5? So UI5 development never stands still. And if you want to stay on top of the wave and always want to know what's new, I recommend that you go to the What's New section of the SAP UI5 project page. And there are also a lot of different uh, learning resources that you could leverage to like keep up to date and to learn what's new and how to use it. SAP UI5 is over eight years old. So I'm going to test your evangelism answers on this. Um, 
you know, why should I be investing in a web app framework which is over eight years old? Eight years already, my goodness me, time has flown. But, um, but then again, if you think about it, you know, UI5, yeah, over eight years old, but frameworks like Angular are not much younger. Um, and in the web world, you know, while some people like to chase the latest and greatest and bleeding edge, you know, um, newer is not always better. In, in our opinion. I mean, UI5 as a framework has, has got thousands of person days of effort invested, and, and it really shows, right? And, and not only that, um, that investment of effort is continuing, right? Okay, so one huge benefit is also the compatibility uh, and that is retained all the time. So if you think of the bug fixes and critical security fixes, that's very important, especially for enterprise-ready development frameworks. So you can change your UI framework every two years and start to implement it from the scratch and need to take care of all those minor issues. Or you go with UI5 that's really truly enterprise ready and it evolves over time. So it doesn't it fall short compared to Angular or React. Well, I really do appreciate the time and effort you put into answering my questions and hanging out with me today on Kotal. And uh, I know we will see both of you again online soon. So thank you very much. Thanks, Ian. Bye.